The diagram below shows two figures. Figure A is a right triangular prism and figure B is an oblique triangular prism. The base of figure A has a height of 5 and a length of 8 and the height of prism A is 14. The base of figure B has a height of 8 and a length of 5 and the height of prism B is 14. So all that uh, information in that first paragraph there is already pre-drawn for us, so there's not much interpretation, but just really try to analyze the diagram there. Use Cavallari's principle to explain why the volume of these two rectangular prisms are equal. Let's try to, let's just maybe recap what Cavallari's principle is saying. It's saying that if you have two, uh, if you have a right prism versus an oblique prism, uh, so something that looks like this. So let's say I have a cylinder. Let's not use the um, let's not use the triangular prism there as the example. Compared to a right cylinder, which has the same exact height. Right? Are these volumes going to be the same or different? So again, both of these have the same height. Both of these have the same height, and both of these have the same area. As it turns out, the volume is going to be the same, and you can intuitively try to um, try to understand this by maybe taking a stack of quarters or a stack of pennies or a stack of whatever, some coins, okay, and you stack it straight up, okay, at a right angle, like I have over here okay, to form a right cylinder, and then you can take the same stack of quarters or same stack of coins, and you can um, sort of maybe skew the, um, the, the, the cylinder a little bit, okay, to create this oblique looking shape here, right, to make it look like that. Are the two stacks of coins going to have different volumes, or are they going to have equivalent volumes? Certainly they are going to have equivalent volumes. And that is the intuition behind Cavallari's principle. If you have uh, two geometric figures, prisms, uh, if you have two prisms with identical areas for the bases and uh, the same length for the altitude, no matter how you, how the, um, how that prism is, uh, is erected, it could be at a right angle or an oblique angle, uh, it, the two prisms will end up having the same exact volume. And that's, that's pretty much it, okay? So both of these, figure A, whoops, and B have equal volumes. because area of the cross sections, or actually I should just say the area of the base, area of the base in both figures are equal and altitudes are equal in length. Cavallari principle states that as long as these dimensions are equal the prism will have equal volumes.
again, this can most intuitively be understood with the stack of quarters or stack of coins uh, example that I have drawn there on the upper right-hand corner of the screen at the moment.